first wavefront analyzers appeared in the 80s in astronomy, as a practical approach to improve on image quality of distant stars and galaxies. Now, it is an established technology. Today, wavefront sensors have metrological performance, that makes them popular in increasing number of markets. All wavefront analysis techniques stem from the transport of intensity equation, describing a relationship between the phase of a light wave and the variation of its intensity along the propagation axis. Numerically solving this equation allows measuring either the gradient or the curvature of the phase. To recover the phase itself, the simple or double integration techniques are used. The well-known Shack Hartman sensors use micro lenses attached to a digital camera that sample the light beam creating focus spots on the surface of the camera. The average gradient of the phase is proportional to displacements of the spots. Curvature sensing technique consists of analyzing differences of intensity in two or more image planes along the propagation axis. Phase views pattern of digital wavefront technology establishes a rigorous and straightforward curvature sensing method. It implements a novel non-iterated algorithm for very fast measurement of both coherent and incoherent beams, taking into account beam astigmatism and light non-uniformity. Compared to wavefront sensors using microlenses or other diffractive elements, the digital wavefront technology preserves the intensity image in its native resolution. While microlenses limit the amount of measurement points, the digital wavefront technology uses every pixel, so the wavefront resolution is directly related to the number of pixels in the camera. In Shack Hart sensors, the dynamic range is fixed by the number of allocated pixels for each micro lens. In digital wavefront technology, the dynamic range can be flexible by adjusting the space between image planes, so both collimated and divergent beams can be measured.